welcome everybody to this week's uh, podcast. So this week we'll actually be talking about doubt, and uh, we'll be actually be talking about two different sides of doubt. We each have our, we're each going to have our own story to talk about doubt, and then we're going to go over it and whatnot in another. So uh, I guess I'll just start us off with prayer, and then we'll get right into it. Yes. Lord, thank you for bringing us here today to talk more about your word, to talk about issues that we're going through, and to uh, bring them in front of you, and to talk through them and work them out, Lord. Please uh, lead these videos to whoever they need to go to so that they can help them, and to they also then can help others, Lord. Lead us and guide us, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, uh, Tracy will actually be talking first, talking about his side of that first. And cool. We'll go from there. I mean... Yeah, last week I didn't really do much talking for reasons unknown. <laughs> nah, it's cool. You have a lovely voice. The crowd always wants more of you. You're such a wonderful creature. God made you wonderful. He said, it is good. Except for that one over there. <laughs> That one over there, that is, I, I didn't make that. That was, that was, that was the anti-God. <laughs> that could, was it me? I don't know. There's nothing I can't do but make that. <laughs> oh, and lie. I can't lie. <laughs> I didn't make that. Uh, okay. So we're talking about doubt. So one of the biggest things that's been happening to me ever since I um left college was um, like what left my college world and kind of went out on my own. Um, was that like leaving college? I had like I think so there's things that happened at the end of my college um, tenure that like kind of made me start questioning my faith and like wondering where true power lied lied where yeah where the true power lied was it truly in christianity was it here was it there was it in a different type of christianity you know what i mean so I, or was it a different religion you know so I, I was questioning all that happiness and so just going through the process you know i went to go join the army and so for i waited a few those few months between graduating college and going to be going to basic so, so I, as soon, when I got into basic, you know, they take away all distractions. You don't have your phone, you don't have TV. I'm sure you have people to talk to, but some of them can be very annoying. And all you have really for entertainment you can bring with you are, is religious text. You know, what I did, you know what I mean? And so all I would do is read my Bible, pray about the doubt that I had and all that happiness. And then finally, I'm just going to make this shorter than rather longer. But then I came across the Book of Mormon. I started reading that, started getting into that. And even then, when reading those, that text and all that, I started like, okay, I'm going to try this because I've never tried something like this before. And I'm going to put my faith in. Although I see things I have doubts about, like I'm not so sure about, I'll have, I'll just stick with it, you know, fill it out until I can gather enough evidence this way or that way, whether I really want to be a part of it and all that happiness. And so go through basic. I joined that church at the end of basic, go through um, OCS, Officer Candidate School, in, in that church. And then I go through basically all of um, basic officer leader course in that church. And I started, and I still had doubts. But like once my doubts, like here and there, like I was still uneasy. And once I like hit a point where I'm like, okay, I don't really want to be in this anymore you know and i was like i'm not feeling it as the definite true right way you dig and like once i had those thoughts like after one day i went to a restaurant to pick up some food for my family my wife son and i that's my family not you Warren. you know i'm joking you're my family too but i went to a japanese restaurant waiting to pick up the food and this this family comes in, they're talking yada yada, and the, and the family goes in to go get seated. But one lady stops, starts having a conversation with me, don't know why, don't remember what we talked about. But before she left, she handed me um, 
this card that like is it was like a not a call card one of those no 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 like one of those business cards with like oh this who we are blah blah but it was a jehovah's witness card and she handed it to me and i was like blah 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 don't the worst and then walked off and said have a lovely day and all that happiness and so then i got my food left but like then one thing i had a question was like, okay this is kind of weird when i was questioning my faith before this thing popped up now i'm questioning again a different thing is popping up to get into that place and so that it kind of bothered me you know what i mean like it just made me wonder okay so what path am i going down am i just willy-nilly being like flung anywhere or do i like what so clearly there is some directions that needs to be taken here and there but i don't it was just kind of weird that every time i question there'll be something that appears even still within christianity to drive like hey right well here's a block here's the thing see i know those old fit right there just like you want oh uh, you thought that wasn't it? hey what about this so it just kind of <laughs> it just kind of made me more wonder you dig and yeah and so but lately again i've been thinking about just i've seen things and made me start questioning parts of my faith again and i've read some articles where people were saying stuff i'm like okay they'll say one thing like, okay they clearly don't understand they're interpreting this in a completely different way and what other than like i don't know where you get that information but it would start to make me doubt and question like what is the real so before i was looking for where is the power now um I, my doubts have like led me to like what is real what is true you know what i mean and i think that covers my story up to the current day i mean I'm so, of course, believing God, Christian, Jesus Christ. But those are just the things that are flying through my mind, back and forth. Sometimes they're punching me in the face, like in my dreams. I but have yeah, I have an answer. What makes you, let's see, all the, even, all the beautiful. things you've been through, like the things I've heard about things that you've done in college with, like, because you're part of, some club like with your spiritual things you've been through sp spiritual experiences so what made you why do you think you doubt even though you've been through these spiritual experiences and you've seen god's work see i have that same question i have no idea why i doubt i've seen so many things like yeah god is definitely true this is definitely the right path i'm going down you know what i mean he's like God listens, God loves, and all that. I, that's the part I'm down. Like that, I started doubting where was the power. Like why did I have power to? Why well, where was the power to help this person in this situation? You know what I mean? Um, sorry, I, can you repeat your question? Uh, I can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> um, why did you been to college? Like you can give some examples of like with the spiritual experiences you've been through, and then but all that you've been through, you've seen God work and stuff like that. So why did you why do you still doubt even though you've been through these experiences and seen it? That's see, that's a great question. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna focus on that question and not float off somewhere else because you know us we we go off, yeah. um, but. <laughs> But um, we, I don't know why, although I've seen so much that I, that the doubt still creeps in. It's legitimately not logical. The only explanation I can think of as why this doubt is able to creep in, although I've seen so much, is I guess similar to when the Israelites were out in the wilderness they like they saw all the amazing things God did, but then like they're still, uh, oh, this sucks. Uh, why we just have manna raining from the sky? I want, I want this. I want that. You see all the things that you could have had. You imagine, you remember the former, former, not necessarily glory, but the you folks in the former good times and like erase the negatives of something else. But for me, it's 
not necessarily the only thing I think of is not acting out in faith. Like they weren't acting out in their faith of like, okay, I saw this. Faith should tell me that all that crazy stuff that happened, there's clearly someone watching us and like we don't want it while we turn back from it. But that like other things creep into your mind. Like me, I haven't been when I say practicing my faith, I mean like prayer life and like going out into the world and talking with people and like talking like about Jesus and all that with just random folk and watching their life, watching their and my own life change for the better. Cause that's one of my spiritual experiences. It's eventually gets around to people's lives changing for the better or some other craziness that we, we could talk one-on-one -on -one if you would like to know. Um, but basically the only thing I think of is I have not taken any opportunities to act out of faith. I mean, the excuses that I have in my mind are, oh, well, we're in a pandemic. We're not allowed to go out and talk to people. Can't go, you know, talk to random people. Can't hang out to stir up those conversations to where I can act out of faith. I'm like, ah, blah, randomness. And they're like, blah, randomness as well. And we can blah, randoms together, which leads to faith. <laughs> or, or at least to a faith-filled conversation. And so I haven't seen those oh yeah i haven't seen the same things i saw before it had like that was more frequent in my life but now it's not as frequent which i guess me back to the israelites in the desert they weren't seeing all the same miracles that they were seeing when they were in egypt when uh, some even question whether they happened or not now Does he really care or like your mind the doubt and erases the faith? Does that make sense? Well, you was breaking up a part of that, so I didn't hear Yeah, you. I think I lost connection. Oh, okay. So it wasn't my fault. Hopefully the video captures both of our sides. Oh, I'm pretty sure it hasn't, but you know. We'll see. But I like right. the suffering and the breaking up part. It made me feel bad. <laughs> you feel like Moses stuttering? <laughs> Hilarious. I'm going to need an errand now. But yeah, I understand. I understood most of what you were saying. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to cut out any amount, go for it. Oh, no, no, we try to keep this as unedited as possible. Yeah, I'll probably keep that all up in there. This is going to have to suffer. That's okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. Life is for spring, and suffering brings beauty and love right. and community. Right, look at Jesus. Well, he suffered, and now we're a community. And we love each other. No, I was thinking, I was thinking like slavery, but yeah, that that works too. <laughs> right, that's a better, that's a better one. <laughs> okay. so, yeah. All that stuff from creative communities. I have no idea. Yeah, don't worry about. It. Shh, keep going. Okay. So yeah, this is one side of the doubt, and then uh, I'm gonna say a verse that uh, applied though also applied to what I talked about. It's, and uh, First Peter, what Peter talks about when he said how we need to stay vigilant because the devil is going around like a lion. So when we start getting those doubts in our minds, he's going to try to put something, he's going to qu quickly try to put something there to spread it open and to turn you away. He's going to try to fill those holes in that box he was talking about. <laughs> Whether it be other people Keep it going. <laughs> Whether it be other people talking about God, like putting down your mind, or whether it be like, like you talk about how it could be part of the same religion, but it's just like a little seems that a little bit off, because the devil only needs you a little bit off not to make it. <laughs> he doesn't need you to be like killing and raping and plundering everybody for you not to make it. He just needs you a little bit off to miss the mark. And so that's why, we, like Peter said, we gotta stay vigilant. 
always is because because we know that the devil is going to come, so we got to be ready for when the doubts come and use that time to draw closer to God. You got anything to say you want to say? About oh, that? I just want to say I'm not saying that like the Mormons are wrong or Jehovah Witnesses are wrong. I haven't even actually looked at Jehovah Witnesses. I'm just saying that I wasn't vibing with it. Because okay. the search for truth is still always continuing. You know what I mean? But I just want to put that out there. Because okay. I, I know we're going to have different listeners. Because yeah. I'm going to continue. Because it's a discussion. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Nothing. Don't worry. Wait, so your story? Oh, my story. Oh, so my side of the doubt. This is fun. I love my story. I hate it. My side of the doubt. My doubt isn't about questioning God. My doubt is with myself. Because cause it, a lot of times it feels to me like I'm just going through the motions and just with God. Going through the motions. Because I don't want to be down. Personally, I've never heard God. <laughs> it's not like I don't really feel God. And I, so I just feel like I'm just going through the motions and stuff. And then one of the things about me is that I don't really have a lot of feelings about things. So then I question sometimes for myself, do I really love God and things like that? It's, it's crazy to me. And so with me going through these, then I question myself, maybe if I'm doing something wrong, am I not, the, am I not on the right path? Because I would pray to God and stuff like that and ask him for direction and stuff. And so, but then I keep questioning myself, maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe I'm not doing things right which it's fine to question, like it's fine to question to make sure you're doing things right. But me, I just take it too far. And that to the point where when I start, I question myself, which is making me think that I'm actually questioning God, because if I'm praying for this stuff and trying to walk in the, his right way, and he's supposed to, and I pray that he leads me and guides me doing that. But if I'm doubting, then I feel like I'm doubting God that actually, he's actually leading me and actually doing the right, and that uh, leading me to do the right thing. And so a lot of my doubt comes from actually me doubting myself and then taking it way too far to make me feel like I'm doubting God, which isn't good. Because, you know, because we know if God is faithful in all things, that we call upon him and he's, you know, he will always be there for us. And another thing is, <laughs> make me doubt myself <laughs> because, uh, I'm, I feel very terrible because I feel like you know how when you think when people normally sin, like you read through the Bible or hear things, people normally sin is because they like they forget they forget God, they turn from Him, they forget God and stuff like that. Uh, okay, yeah. But I feel like me when I sin, I think about God the whole time, but I'm still going through it. it it's it's crazy to me because you would think if you sin, then you forget the God of your fathers. But no, I'm thinking about him. I could be thinking about him the whole time. I could be looking guys straight in the face and still be sitting right in front of him. <laughs> and I hate I mean, being crazy. Well, we got to remember, like, think about when they say they forgot God, then they're not, fo- like, if you forget, like, some rules, you're not following the rules. I know, but are you thinking about the rules? How many, but do we normally think about God? Do, do people think about God when they sin, though, you know, normally? Like, I guess depends. Yeah, but, <laughs> like, if you're speeding, are you thinking about it that you're breaking the speeding law? Depends, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you just like zoom and just not pay attention. Other times, you're like, look at the speed limit, look, at the, look how fast you're going. You're like, I don't see any cops right now, so I'm just going to keep going. Sometimes, sometimes you think about it, sometimes you don't. Okay, legit. I'm just comfortable at this speed. 130 out miles per hour. Just so comfortable. It just feels right. You know what I mean? I was born to go at this speed. <laughs> I go to a speed that feels comfortable. And if I, I don't know if I'm speeding or not. I just, it just feels comfortable going this fast. So <laughs> Who needs a speedometer? <laughs> so, and then, that really messes me up when I think about it. Like, because uh, clearly, this doesn't always happen. It happens sometimes. Uh, I sin more than I want, but don't we all, right? Anyway, whatever. Cool. So, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then start 
another part I take it too far, questioning myself. It's like, you know, maybe sometimes I was made for destruction. I was that part of the clay that God made for destruction. And then that, then again, questioning myself, making me question God, wondering what he made me for, taking it too far. And I know I just need to calm down and be like, who am I? One, who am I to question God what he made me for? Two, who am I mm-hmm. to say who I who I made what I'm made for? <laughs> to say whether I'm made for destruction or not. It's not up to me. It's up to God. So I know I need to calm mm-hmm. down and that you know that I just need to do my part and follow God because God is faithful to do his. Another thing. And that a verse about how uh, all things work together for the good of those who are love God to those who are called according to his purpose, which to me that uh that verse has like two things to it. You gotta love him and be called according to his purpose. Am I really I love him. Do I am I called according to his purpose though? But that's just me. I'm being a weirdo though. See, because I take things too far sometimes. So that's Legit. where my that's why where my doubt comes from. Doubting myself, taking it too far. And so I just know I just need to calm down and know that I just need to do my part and God that God is faithful. And he was faithful in his word that he will he will be with us and he will be our protector and cover us as long as we follow him. <sighs> yeah. It keeps glitching. So I'm like going in now. It slows you down, then speeds and catches you right back up. So oh. I heard I, I heard everything, but just at different speeds. <laughs> 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 but from what I understood, makes sense. I mean, those are two like it's two different sides of doubt that we're talking about. Yeah. Um, but both doubts are okay as long as you're seeking, as long as you continue to seek for on my side answers in truth, and like ask God about it. Although you may be doubting God, so it's kind of weird to ask God about it if you're doubting Him. But He has all the answers, so. <laughs> Um, but seeking the truth is not a bad thing and to be diligent and all, and all of it nonetheless in your side of questioning yourself it's not bad to question yourself because it also brings self-awareness to what you're doing wrong yeah. the at least the positive side of things is that if you're questioning yourself at least you notice you're doing wrong so hopefully that will make it easier to like go in with the your magic eraser and like get that scrub the dirt out you know what i mean Mm -hmm. maybe not magic eraser but you know what i mean get in there because you see the problem fix the part of your car so your car can run smoothly you know as they say the squeaky wheel gets the oil i hope i made that all make sense we'll see We'll see what the commenters say. <laughs> Let me know if I'm just speaking gibberish. I think we both speak gibberish sometimes. Yeah. If you don't understand us, just let us know. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I need to stop taking But, but leave a like while you do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. What are other forms of doubt? I feel like, is there another form of doubt? So there's doubting truth in God, there's doubting yourself and which in your actions in God. Uh, well, so you're, there is, well, when you say doubting God, like your doubt, were you doubting God as in, is he the true power or like, is he real or what kind of doubt with God? Why are you looking at me like that? What a punch! <laughs> no, you—you you were frozen and you was looking at me weird. <laughs> this I hope I hope, I have no idea whose screen they're gonna show. Either way, there's gonna be glitches going on. Hopefully, it's just like all smooth and just us looking weird at what's what, something they can't see. <laughs> Kind of doubt, like doubting whether God was real or doubting like is he the true 
power, truth, is he the truth or whatnot in another way? I'm more so out doubting. I don't know what I was doubting. I, I, I was doubting power and like what the truth is because I know God exists. I where true power lies. Okay. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, really, though? No way. What? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Share more. What? Oh, no. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, stuff. Yep. Stuff. Oh, and look at that. I'm all alone again. Oh, he's back. Hey, Tracy. No, really? I'll stick to this fine thing. What? Da, 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 da. Oh, oh Warren, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Currently, someone's internet connection is unstable. Apparently. <laughs> so, anyway, so the other kind of doubt, <laughs> I guess. This is gonna be so weird when you have to go through like, well, what? <laughs> what? We go through the edit, like what's going on, like this this portion. <laughs> The only part I'm doing is finding where we started talking and where we ended talking. Everything else is going to be. <laughs> That's the only thing I do. All that other stuff is too much work. You're going to have to deal with it as it comes. It'll get better. These videos will get better. Yeah. yeah, one day. One so, day indeed. So yeah, the other type of doubt would be uh, doubting the existence of God, but that would be for a different video. Mm -hmm. And then, because this our podcast more so is for those who already believe. But I mean, we could do a video about that. I mean, oh yeah. Oh okay, so this is about believers who doubt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a you believe it? Yeah. So yeah. So but because this podcast is, is Sorry, hold up. My wife sent me something. My bad. Keep going. No no. You told me to hold up. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. I am ready. Yeah, like I said, this podcast is for uh mainly for believers, but I mean, because we talk about things like what we talk about or what we talk about are things that for if you already believe, that's the only things we talk about. We believe in legit. So. Legit, legit. Okay. Okay. So, well, sounds good. Um, if y'all have any questions, please, please put it in the comments so we can uh, discuss it. What doubts you guys have um, that you want to talk about? Because we can make videos off anything. Just ask a question. We'll we'll make a video. Yeah. Like we may not have all. We're not. I, we definitely don't have all the answers. Or maybe we don't have any answers. Who knows? No, we have answers. But we can have an open discussion and keep it light, fun, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, we'll be putting some verses and stuff that you saw in the. Yeah, like you normally do. Oh, like I normally do. oh yeah, yeah. Get them. That's always a positive thing. Good job. Put putting songs in there to like help, like bring the ideas together. 
Yeah. No, I'm just saying. Go team. Whatever song I think of, like that deals with this, I just put it in there. If I can, I'll sing it while during the podcast. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. If you haven't, uh, follow us on Twitter at State of Q. Um, please subscribe. Us. Uh, well. Or yeah. At State of Q one. But yeah, at State of Q one. And uh, yeah. I was gonna say something else, but I was like, that's gonna be stupid. I should not say that. And somebody, I just didn't say anything. Okay. So you decided just to look stupid and say it sounds stupid. I understand. Yeah, it's a thing, it's a strategy. Because <laughs> I don't know what was going through my head. <laughs> All right. Do um, you have anything else you wanna say, or can I uh, end this in prayer? All right. Lord, thank you for allowing us to gather here today and talk about our doubts, doubting you, doubting ourselves. Um, I pray, Lord, that you well, you allow us to doubt and come to you for answers and that you may reaffirm yourself in us in our doubt and bring us closer, that we may get closer to you through our doubts as we seek your word and seek your answers answers to our questions lord that it may turn us back to you and to the right direction that you desire us to go lord um thank you for your love thank you for your wealth of knowledge and thank you for all that you've done for us and that you will do this thing i ask and pray in your holy name amen <laughs>